Okay. I think I'm live. Hey, y'all. I'm Lucy, and we're going to talk about church patterns tonight. What I wanted to do was to have some really elaborate, beautiful church pattern for you, and mm, I'm sorry, that didn't happen. Um, I tried, but I was working on another project. I'll just show it to you real quick. My, I'm in a summit, an online craft thing, where you, you know, a group of crafters get together and share their projects, and then if you want to buy an all-access pass ticket, you can. But anyway, mine's really cute. It's a castle pop-up card. It's part of my castle obsession. And so that's part of it. And then I made a little free file that's on my blog. Oh, I really like this one. Let me open it right. This is the front. And then it opens like this. Isn't that cute? So anyway, working on that this week took a lot of time. And I didn't get my church pattern going. Is anybody there? Okay, so like this is the base, and I was going to do towering towers and really cute, but um, I haven't gotten it done. But I do have a lot of church pa uh, patterns on my blog, but I thought I'd show you some inspiration first before I go to that. So first, oh, let me see how to do this. I think I can do screen share. I don't know. Y'all, I'm sorry. Screen. Yes, this is my screen. And this is what I want you to see. This is where I started making little houses. It's called the Cardboard Christmas Forum. And it's based on the vintage, um, vintage houses, um, the vintage putz houses, that's what they were called. They were, um, the best ones were from Japan. They started out in like Germany and then Japan kind of took over and then there were some made in the U.S. too. But this forum is just a wealth of information. So it's got a search function up here in the right-hand corner, search this cardboard Christmas forums. And I typed in churches to get some inspiration. My computer's kind of slow. And you can see, um, let's see. You can just find all sorts of inspiration. This, my, uh, particularly from my friend Howard. Okay, now, let me go back. I don't know where I am. Finish. Oh shoot, cancel. Uh, scene, new scene. Okay, we've got Margot from Glendale, Jackie from California, she's always here, Shannon, my friend Emily, and Jameson and Joella, those are Emily's kids. Okay, so I'm going to Ecamm, I'm going back to camera, let's see, there, Phew. I thought I lost myself. Okay. So I made kind of a little slideshow, I hope. I don't know where it went. There we go. So now I'm going to go back to my screen and show you um, just some inspiring churches. My brother Ben has been helping me find some, but also some from the Cardboard Christmas Forum. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll show you the one that I was, hope in my mind, I was hoping to create. Okay, so I'm going back to, wait, let me pull this up. I'm going back to sh uh, screen. Okay, and let's see. So this is um, uh, Le Mont Saint-Michel in, Fran in France. It's on like a little island and it's just spectacular looking. And then I wanted to show you this one. Um, oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. This is one of the cardboard Christmas churches, and it's a simple little church, but it can be a little more elaborate. This is a more elaborate, kind of a vintage-looking version. I really like that version. And it's similar to a house that Jackie found, or not a house, a church that Jackie found in Hawaii. Um, 
that is really cool. And this is an English church done by my friend Howard. And it's not that elaborate, but it's got great windows. And I love this little, these little crenellations on the, um, on the church and the tower, rather simple tower, but I think it's very elegant. And here is another one he's done. This is based, I think, on a, a church in, um, seems like it's Virginia, Bramwell Presbyterian Church. He made that for somebody, for one of his friends. And I think the details on this church are just beautiful. Next, this is a vintage Czech church, you know, a Czech Puts Church. I think it's really cute. This one, also on the Cardboard Christmas Forum, is called the Tri Tower Church, and it's really kind of an elegant pattern. I, I really like the way it looks. Okay, so this is really what I was envisioning when I wanted to make a fancy church. I wanted something like um, uh, Chateau Saint Andre Eglise, so it's a French one. Forgive my butchered French. But anyway, I think based on that, I'm going to um, do an, a taller, narrow tower. I want this window in the center is called the rose window. Um, Notre Dame has the most famous rose window, but I want to do, I want to include that. And then I see we've got Mickey from Olympia here and then two dramatic towers. So I think this might be the church that my friend Howard made or was kind of inspired by when he made this one. And you can see it's got um, a centerpiece and these staggered towers. And also I think he angled them for perspective. I think they're kind of angled backwards, but I thought it's a really beautiful church and that was part of my inspiration as well. But I think I, think I can do this so that it's not like crazy intimidating and um, I can simplify it enough so that it's interesting, but not crazy intimidating. Anyway, that's my goal. And then, um, oh, and Rhonda's here. Rhonda, uh, I think this is Rhonda who writes um, a Christmas notebook blog. This just has, you know, she's just full of treasures and she makes great little houses. Okay, so those are my inspiration. That's just kind, and that's only some, like I said, my brother's been sending me all these, um, all these, let me get, get back to my camera. He's been sending me so many inspiring things. I actually have this giant folder. Let me show you, I'll show you my, oh, I guess I could show you, but anyway, it's a whole folder. It must have 200, 300 churches and castles in it. But, so, like I said, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't have a pattern ready for you. But then I looked around and I've actually made a lot of churches. Um, you know, this one is my little church. This is, I used it as a, a jar topper. So you can put a little gift in a jar. It's very simple, but it's a great design. I think, um, uh, I think it was labeled um, tiny, tiny houses for mason jars, something like that. So that's simple. It's pretty, not advanced at all. And then I was trying to see my snowy church. That's probably my most popular one. It's on this wreath behind me. The church, I wanted it to be the centerpiece. I've had this for several years, so it's kind of gotten a little beaten up. And everything's glued on, so I can't take it down. But snowy church is probably my most popular church pattern. And then, you know, this is the same. This is essentially the same church but made bigger and I used a textured surface uh, I think I actually mixed sand with the paint let me see if I can get you to see see the texture just to make it look like stucco and then it's made out of cardboard most of mine are made out of cardboard and I painted it with uh, metallic paint to give a little kind of silvery kind of champagne colored around the thing and I was able to add the um, the bell and I use the method that Rhonda taught me where you hang it on a chain and it, it wiggles freely. It rings. I, I really like it. So that's another one. And then this isn't a church. This is what I call the front tower clock house, but it's got room. It's also got a bell. 
and it can easily be, be converted into a church. I think the steeple needs to be taller. So I need to work on that and modify it into a church It would because uh, I think it would be really pretty as a church. Also modify the windows to make them look more church-like. But you can see that pattern, front tower clock house. And then this was actually on the cardboard Christmas. I, I got this pattern from them, and it was actually a church. I obviously turned it into an Halloween house, but it's... Um, it is, I think it's a stone clock house or stone stencil clock house is what it's under. So, okay. And then, you know, I've been working on this one. I call this the four corner castle. And um, the truth is just this front part could easily be a good church. <clears throat> so you, you could just leave it alone, use much more... Um, you know, very appealing colors, and that would make a good church. So I think that would be modified easily into a church. And let me tell you, oh, this is the front tower clock house in a different um, color scheme. So, but you can see it, it's really very church-like. So I know that I told Jackie about we were going to do this, and I think she's working on a pattern. I'll have a pattern for you within a week, I think. And so we'll have more church patterns. And I chose them because I chose to include churches in the castle challenge because I think structurally they're just so similar. So that was the motivation for that. And I think that's it. I meant to, like I said, I meant to have a pattern and kind of show you how to put stuff together. And I wanted to be able to stack these and I figured out how to, how to stack the towers so that um, you still have light and um, and and they're easy to center. So basically what I'm going to do is make a square with tabs on two sides and the center is going to be cut out so you can get light into the tower. And so I, at least I figured out that problem. Um, there are no more scheduled castle challenge um, videos. I'm taking a little bit of a break. We'll start again and do some in March. I haven't picked out a topic, so if you have a topic, just let me know. You can email me at lucy at paperglitterglue.com or in one of the Facebook groups, or you could even comment on the Facebook page. That's a public page that anybody has access to, but I'd be interested in seeing what you want to want to make. Um, if there's if you things you have other questions about and the other thing is I talked to my friend Emily has done a zoom with with uh, a, like a, with her crafting people and I think it's a good way to get interaction and to hear um, and my sister's here too Joanne is watching I think it's a good way to interact and so people can ask questions so that's what that's kind of what I'm entertaining for next so we could do a zoom and I will, if you're on my email list, I'll email you the time and um, time and date. So we'll try a Zoom in March. And it, does anybody have any questions about churches or favorite churches? You know, Ben is being my trusty transcriber, so so I can tell what y'all are saying. He's like doo -doo 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 -doo, typing on his computer and holding it up for me. So I think that's good. Any questions? So, you know, like I said, I, I'm sorry I don't have a specific pattern, but um, but I'm working on it. I know Jackie's working on it. She makes such wonderful patterns. Jackie at a cottage in the forest. And you can check out things on Rhonda's page, A Christmas Notebook, and, of course, on my page, um, paperglitterglue.com. Okay, so I'm just going to sign off for now. And I will see you later. I'll keep emailing, and when I get a when I get the church pattern pattern done, I'll email it and I'll post it in Facebook groups and other and Instagram, so you can see that it's done, and you can check it out and decide if you want to make it. Okay, I think that's it for now. So um, just let me know, and uh, and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, bye.